they're chuffed fellows. It's from someone named uh, Sonia. This is an actual email from a, a viewer. Um, I just needed to send this message after seeing the last show. I noticed that Big Tim, who I've been watching very closely, very is in capital letters, uh, on your cool show at once in the bowling alley, I hope that you didn't notice me staring, had let his whiskers grow wild so that they almost covered his face. It was like he was trying to hide behind them, like he had something to be ashamed of or something. I know how that blows. I wish I could have grown a beard last year when I woke up at my girlfriend's house after one of our crazy parties and she told me that I'd made out with the wrong guy, you know, right in front of everybody. I was pretty drunk, but it was like so embarrassing that I just wanted no one to see my face. The face that had been sucking face with Mr. Skankwad. But I suppose that a beard would look pretty gay on a girl. Anyway, I wanted to tell Big Tim. I always think of him that way, because you have that little Tim on the show, too, that he has nothing to hide from. You are this girl's, and it's G-R-R-R-L, favorite chuff muffin. But considering the competition, I should probably say best in show. Just kidding, guys, but you do come off like a bunch of big meanies, especially that little Tim. And Big Tim is the only real bowler on the show. You other guys really suck. Anyway, Big T, I hope that maybe sometime we can hook up if you aren't too freaked out by the age thing. I'm 17, but I look and sound much older. I drink in all the bars in town, except one where they know me. Maybe you can be the new sheriff in my little town if I can get up the courage to give a big high to big you sometime in person. Your fan, Sonia. But you're not 17, Bicey. So what do you think of that, babe? Yeah. Would, you, would you date a 17-year-old? Uh, yes. yes. I mean, that's, that's, that's our, first, our first real yes. fan letter, you know? We could and, uh, take a vacation to another country first. Yeah. Pick it up. Uh, the, uh, the letter you just read was a rip-off of the Christmas meme that's about it. Yeah, there's a young girl who writes in to Beavis. A young girl writes in to Beavis, and Santa Butthead is reading it. And Beavis the Red Nose reads it. How can it be a So you're gonna call it the social shine? Oh, the cultural symbiosis. Okay. It was a subconscious ripoff. Get fucked up. I get to bring some whiskeys. I'll buy a bunch. I'll have some. Anything else we can do? Salmon. We got steaks. We got salmon. Yeah, the spain lady just like. Do it. Cool. Oh, hold on. But Joe, that letter was real. Spicy, you just missed a spare. Your thoughts? You are? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
not? Who are you leading? Our team? Pick it up, baby. Right on that head, baby. Easy spare. Right on that. Oh! Gretchen, you just missed like the easiest spare. Yeah, you, your thoughts? Oh, Anything? Yeah. <laughs> you missed it. Did you miss a spare? <laughs> Talking about bowling, right? <laughs> Go, Fred! 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 Fred, you suck. Fred, maybe you should follow your mo idol, Aunt Randy Moss, and uh, and really apply yourself. You know? We know you can do it if you want to. How about Jim yeah. 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 Oh, Joe. This must be a crushing disappointment. You suck, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but you do suck. There goes Mighty Mark. <laughs> Mark! Mark, yeah, way to go. Is that Mark? Mark. What would you say to Harry if he could? Nothing. I mean, he's your, he's your uncle, no but you comment. say, Uncle because Harry, I... Right no comment, please. I mean, I mean if, if you could say, Harry, I love you. You're my family. I don't want to. Take it away. Dry lane. <laughs> Too dry. Sure. Say it with a different one. Shout out my name when I'm bowling. See, Gretchen, what do you think? Um, your bowling career? Do you think you're like at the top or the bottom? I, I could be in the middle. Are you a top or a bottom? I'm a middle. Yeah. You're a middle. Yeah, I'm a middle. We'll totally ignore what Joe said. She's in the middle. She's in the middle. It's only one game, though. So That's do you true. think you're going to be at a second game? I don't know if I can stay for the second game. What do you mean you don't know if you can stay for the second game? I might have to be on my way. That's pretty low. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? I have someone coming over. Who? My boyfriend. Boyfriend. He likes to party. What's going on? Well, it's pretty low, Gretchen. I mean, you know, you can't let us just leave with this sort of stain on our career. It happens. It happens. We have a stain on our career. It does. Well, thank God we have the commentary from a young woman like this. I mean, she's... <laughs> she's no woman. She's his daughter. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a soap opera. She's no woman what? Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> his chest is expanding. 
episode. It's going to be like our Soul Train episode. <laughs> Spicy man. That's how you feel, Mark. <laughs> Nothing. He doesn't love the camera. Just don't care. Uh, as much up. as it loves him. Uh, there you go. Put it. 